Saturday marks one year since Brianna Taylor was shot and killed during a raid conducted at her apartment by Louisville Metro Police officers. Brianna's death plus others sparked a movement calling for police reform in the United States. And still the highly publicized case is controversial as none of the three officers involved have been charged in Taylor's death. NBC News' Blaine Alexander joins us live this morning to talk about her interview coming up on the Today Show this morning with Brianna Taylor's mom, Tamika Palmer. So Blaine, good morning. Can you talk about the interview with Ms. Palmer and how she is feeling as we approach the one year anniversary? Well, Chris and Claire, good morning to you both. She's feeling uh, troubled. I mean, this is a very difficult one year mark for her. Uh, you know, the difficulty of 2020, of course, means that there are going to be a lot of, as you would call them, somber anniversaries here in 2021. I spoke with the mother of Ahmaud Arbery just a few weeks ago. Speaking with Tamika Palmer is a much different tone because, as you mentioned, this is a very different type of thing for her. She says she's very unsettled, of course, because the three officers who were involved in her daughter's death have not faced charges for that death. So. She says that even though a year has passed, she feels like every day for her is March 13th. She feels like she just kind of keeps replaying it over and over. And she says in many ways, it's actually become more difficult as time has passed. You know, over the past year or so, it's really been this cruel blur for her of just legal petitions, filing motions, protests. Uh, she petitioned for a special prosecutor that was denied. But she says that despite the fact that this time has passed, she's going to continue to fight. Take a look. The focus is still the same as it was one year ago. Really? Yeah. Absolutely, because nobody's been held accountable, and that's the problem, though. So, um, and until that happens, I guess I'll just continue to fight. And part of that fight, guys, is also going to look like pushing for Brianna's law. You know, we talked about that, the fact that it had passed in the city of Louisville, but it's not passed statewide. I asked her how she feels knowing that it's actually passed or some version of Brianna's law has passed in three other states, but not the state of Kentucky. And she says it felt, feels like a punch to the gut and that she's fighting not only for her daughter, but her younger daughter, who's age 21 and all of the quote other Brianna's around the world. So very emotional interview, very difficult one year marker for her, uh, but certainly appreciate her time and sharing how she's feeling at this time, guys. Mm. Blaine Alexander, thank you so much for joining us this morning. And of course, you can catch that full interview later this morning on today's show begins at 7 a.m. right here on LEX 18 directly after sunrise.